Hi, I'm Al, and I'm a science interpreter here at the Franklin Institute. For today's Spark of Science, I want to talk about chemical decomposition and catalysts. Uh, to start, I have a material you may be familiar with. You may have seen it in the pharmacy or even in your own bathroom. It's something called hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is made up of two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms, giving it the chemical compound H2O2. Its common uses are propellants, disinfectants, and bleaching agents, uh, which is why I have my safety gear on for this experiment. Hydrogen peroxide is also photoreactive, meaning that when light hits it, it changes chemically. Specifically, it decomposes, meaning that H2O2 breaks down into water, which is H2O, and oxygen. That's why it's often stored in these dark bottles to keep light from hitting it. So why don't we take a look at this reaction in action? That's not very exciting, now isn't it? This photo reaction is actually quite slow. Something is happening, but it's happening at a pretty slow pace. But when you want a chemical reaction to happen faster, you can use something called a catalyst. For today, our catalyst will be manganese dioxide, which will speed up this breakdown. So let's see what that looks like. Now you can see why some people call this the genie reaction, as if the steam coming out of a genie's bottle. What's happening here is that this reaction is exothermic, meaning it releases heat. Now we sped up the reaction, meaning more heat was released at once than earlier, uh, before we added that catalyst. That heat heated up the water vapor, causing it to rise out of my Erlenmeyer flask in that big plume. I hope you enjoyed our reaction today, and I hope to see you soon here at the Franklin Institute. Bye-bye now.